Tory Bocking is an Aussie. Uh, he's in camp with the West Indies as their conditioning manager. So this is the indoor bag. There is a different outdoor bag. Yep. I hear that it has different things in it as well. Got all the secret stuff in there. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. we'll get to that one. Let's yeah. warm it up today um, and take a look inside. These things, what do they do? So these are just some foam rollers. Uh, some of the guys like to lay around on and some of them actually use them for their warm up. Uh, a bit of mobility, um, just to loosen off some muscles. And these are? So these are just little mini bands. So obviously different uh, colors and different resistance. Are they the same as this? Basically just Similar but skinnier. different. Uh, these guys would often be like um, used for like glute activation, so guys you might see them put them around their legs mm -hmm. and do sort of like glute activation, some squatting, anything sort of hip activation. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty handy and obviously pretty portable, so you can take them, take a lot of them, it doesn't take a lot of space. These ones can be used more for some strength exercise and resistance exercises. So some of the guys who might be on certain rehab programs or have certain warm up programs use different types of these, so especially okay. some of the bowlers. Bowlers. This looks interesting. Um, same as sort of some of the guys like some sort of self massage so they could warm up with this one or loosen off their calves or quads, things like that. So, this is very heavy. So, uh, medicine ball, especially for some of the bowlers. This one's a two kilo, we've got a couple others, some that are a little bit heavier. So, before they go out on the field, you'll often see them doing warm ups and routines that help activate, especially sort of abdominal and shoulder type exercises. So when they go on bowl, sometimes you're just using some over weighted stuff. So as well, like this is a two kilo, and we have a one kilo one. So when they go on bowl, it sort of feels a little bit easier for them sometimes. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, Corey goes to work with everything, including hand warmers in his bag. So if you ever see him at a ground uh, and, and, and you need maybe one of these, yep, very he's important. the guy at the corner. Yeah, hand warmers, especially for the Caribbean lads. <laughs> They don't like anything that's below 28 degrees. So we go through a hell of a lot of these over here in England. 